Well, quick progress is being made in the effort to clean up and rebuild after that EF2 tornado ripped through parts of Hot Springs early yesterday. Channel 7's Ashley Lunningham has been speaking with those at Stonebridge condominiums who were hit hard by that tornado, and she has more on the recovery effort there. Ashley. Chris Beth, I'm, if you'll take a look behind me at this roof right here, you would not believe that just yesterday this roof was completely gone. Uh, crews have been working overtime to get these residents back on their feet. The caretaker who was here during the tornado says the area looks like night and day. If you were looking at this two days ago. We're very lucky to be alive. Richard Grinnis takes care of Stone Ridge condos and was asleep right before the storm until he heard someone call his name. I heard Richard. I got up on my chest and I looked over at my wife. She was sound asleep. She said, what is it? I said, she said, it sounds like a storm. I said, yes. I got on my knees in the bed, raised up the blinds to our window above our headboard. When I did that, you could look through and see tree stuff, which is at an angle a little further over, but you could see debris coming across the bridge and I could see the tornado. Immediately jumping up and taking cover in the bathroom. After it was over, they saw glass had shredded the bed where they were sleeping seconds before. Even my wife's pillow is the same way. If we had not have gotten out of bed, there's not a doubt in my mind we wouldn't be alive today. Making sure that everybody was safe, got everybody in the parking lot, everybody was accounted for, no injuries, not even a splinter. We had people with the roof, they were sleeping and the roof lifted off while they looked up. They rolled off, got in the floor and crawled into the hall. Insulation pelting them like BB guns shooting on them. Assessing the damage and making a plan to get out. We were actually trapped inside this parking lot. I got chainsaws out. Some of the other owners had people bring in chainsaws. We cut our way out of the parking lot so we could get out of here. At that point in time, services started coming in. It's just, like I said, it's just been an overwhelming supply of everybody coming in to help. He says within hours, crews were at their beck and call. Just two days later, a new roof almost completed where the other was completely blown away. It's just everybody's pitching in and I don't know what's going on besides God because we've got overwhelming supplies and everything's being supplied for us as we need it. It's just an overwhelming feeling of love and then all, everything being taken care of. How much love can you see in a community that comes together like this? Now, Grinnis says that he and others are just happy that everyone was okay, and they hope to be back on their feet sooner rather than later, especially with the amount of help that they've had uh, to speed up that process. In Hot Springs, on your side, I'm Ashley Lenning. All right, Ashley, thanks a lot. Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders has declared an emergency for Hot Springs. Currently, the Red Cross is in the area helping with recovery efforts for residents who are impacted.